Hey everyone, happy Lamas. Today is August the 1st, and there's a fly in here. And I wanted to show you my new besom. Um, so let me show you how it's constructed. Um, this right here is a walking stick that um, I found at an antique shop. It's kind of a funny story. Um, we went to an antique shop uh, where my boyfriend lives, he and I, and um, he wanted to get me something there and he was pointing out rings and stuff and I, I saw this walking stick and I was like, I want that. I was like, that'd be perfect for making my besom. And he honestly was kind of embarrassed. He's like, all the things in here, and you wanted a stick. I was like, yeah. So I got a stick, and it's perfect. Um, down here, we have, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what kind of grass this is. But I got it at Home Goods. I searched everywhere for some grass. You know, I wanted to get something where I knew exactly what the grass was. I wanted to pick it myself or maybe just like get it from a farmer's market or something like that. But I just couldn't freaking find anything and this was kind of perfect. Um, so this was actually pretty easy to make. Um, what I did was I took the stick and I took the, the, um, the end of it which was like a rubber what have you took that off and I sharpened it to somewhat of a point then I took this grass and I bundled it up and um, I started to wrap it around here with the twine but the twine kept breaking so if you want to make a besom uh, get really durable twine. But what I did is I just used wire to hold it together and then wrap the twine around it, um, which it ended up um, uh, making it tighter. The, the twine made it tighter, but the wire kept it together. Um, after that, I took the stick and I put it into the center um, of this bundle of grass. And um, I had my boyfriend hold on to the bundle, you know, turn it upside down with the stick going downwards and then just like slam it down on the ground. And that will force the stick into the bundle and into where it's tied together. And it'll be a much tighter fit than wrapping the bundle of grass around the stick. Um, you know, I actually asked him to do it, but it it is relatively easy to do. You don't need a lot of strength to do it. Um, so I guess we can get to the kind of nice decorative part. I really like how this turned out. So what I have up here is... This really nice kind of opalescent or iridescent lace that I picked up from, I think, Joanne Fabrics a long time ago. I think I was going to use it in my book, my book of shadows. Um, and I've had a lot of plans for my book of shadows, but I just haven't really done anything in it for a while. But I had this gorgeous lace, and so I decided to use it. I have a turquoise rock that I got at a metaphysical shop. Um, I got a little pinnacle pendant and I got, um, I got a bunch of those. I can't remember how many. It was like maybe 10 or so, uh, from Etsy because I was, um, I needed it for my God sculpture, which is pretty much done. I just need the paint to dry. Now oh, and then I have to paint the bottom of it. And um, add some extra things to it. Um, and then down here is a piece of selenite. I was actually not really sure. I wanted something down here, but I wasn't really sure what I was going to have. I thought about getting a quartz, um, crystal, but 
Um, yeah, I decided on the selenite. The the broom, to me, um, at least in this personal practice of mine, is exclusively goddess-centered. And a lot of um, instructional books will say it's both goddess and god combined, which would make sense because, you know, you have the width of the bristles that could signify the womb and the stick um, signifying the phallus. But um, this is really not about, to me, it's not about um, what it signifies. It is, to me, a, um, a goddess tool. Um, so that's why I have the selenite for the moon. And then the turquoise is, um, you know, for water. Um, but also it's, you know, it's a, it's a perfect choice, um, in terms of the color. Um, and then I have pearls surrounding it. So like I have wire holding onto the stones. It's the rose gold wire. And then I have the little... Ugh, this doesn't focus. The rose gold beads. That was the hardest part to get this frickin' pearl whatever around the broom. It took forever. And, I don't know, it was just kind of difficult. So, yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Um, I really love this broom. Not just because of the aesthetics, but because it is extremely functional. I actually was able to sweep up the mess that I made while making this broom with the broom. So it, it works as a, a perfect standard broom, which is really nice. Um, also, uh, I think it's aesthetically pleasing. Um, it feels fairly sturdy. Um, it's, you know, sometimes the most of the uh, pieces of grass will break before they pull out, which to me says it's a pretty sturdy broom. Um, so yeah, I'm beyond pleased with this. <clears throat> uh, let's get another look at it. Well, let's do this. Probably be sideways. Hi, babe! So, that is it in its entirety with my pup. Um, yeah, so I, I might as well, like, uh, go over here with my altar. Um, I've made a few changes. I have my god and goddess candle up here, but eventually it's going to be taken place by those figures up there. That's a sneak peek for the god figure. Like I said, it's still, um, drying. Well, drying is not the right word because it's oil paints. It's like... Uh, oxidizing. Um, I changed things around. I had my uh, rocks for fire down here, but I made some switches and it's right here. There's my little gossamer. I don't know if you could see him very well. Where is he? Oh, he moved. Ugh. He's really hard to see. Um, he molted recently, and he's hanging out at the bottom of his vial. I'm not sure why. We just had a nice meal yesterday. And then there's my quill. She's a little piggy. She likes to eat lots of crickets. Um, so other changes. Down here is... Um, this is a... What do you call it? A little pamphlet thing for that I got from my grandfather's funeral. He passed away um, early May. And um, it, was, it was a difficult thing. Um, mostly because that's the first death I've ever experienced. So... I have him here on my altar, um, it, you know, on the god side, the goddess, kind of who deals with death. Um, and then I have a nice little 
a card of the Madonna and Child because my father, our grandfather was very closely attached to Mary. And right here I have a little dead moth. I don't know, it was just such a gorgeous moth that I just put it there. Um, ooh. Look at this gigantic quartz crystal I got. I got this at a flea market for 10 bucks, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's a lot better than at a metaphysical shop, you know, 10 bucks could be much smaller. Um, it's kind of cloudy, not very clear, but it's gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but, you know, I was just going through this this guy's shop and so many gorgeous crystals. I got, it's like, I got to get one. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy, but um, it's beautiful. Um, I put with, right, so I move things around. I put with um, my earth rocks salt. And then that is my my vial of ocean water. And then over here, yay, I got an antler. Went to the, um, um, so at the, at the flea market, my uh, boyfriend asked me, you know, uh, is there something in particular looking for? I was like, yeah, deer antlers. So while I was looking at the guy's rocks, he went off and then he came back with deer antlers. I was like, yay. And I have another one up here. And I want to do something with it and I'm not sure what. And I'm not giving it to you. I know you'd like it, but I want to use it for something. And then I have uh, my air rocks down here with my bell. Uh, yeah. So that's some of the changes I've made. And over there in my dirty kitchen, some bread. Ugh, this camera does not want to focus on anything. Um, this bread <laughs> is uh, kind of crappy, to be honest. My oven really sucks. Um, so the, the crust of the bread is, you know, really where it should be. But the inside is, is pretty doughy. It's not too bad because I, I like it doughy, but it's more than normal. So my oven, I don't know. I put it at much lower than normal. But um, I ate some of this bread. And I took some out and buried it outside as an offering. And that's what I do for llamas. Actually, usually what I do for llamas is um, I like to share bread with family. But I gave a bunch of it to my puppy. So, that's that's good enough, I think. It's two. Wow, this does not want to focus at all. Oh, there we go. Gosh, I hope this wasn't totally out of focus the whole entire time. Okay, so yeah, I reckon that's it. Another sneak peek. And um, yeah, I will be showing my god sculpture when it's all oxidized and has the extra adornments and it'll be pretty cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching.